What's up, y'all? Thank you for joining me. As always, I'm your foul player, and you stepped into the foul playland. Um, I want to make a video regarding a topic that I was discussing um, on some of the channels that I've been going on recently, like uh, as one of the panelists, um, and that's on 503 Lions channel and um, the Focus Balls channel, and I hope you guys uh, subscribe to them. Um, even though I didn't discuss this particular topic on this channel, but please also subscribe to Mac and um, his channel, uh, Stay Ready Boxing. But what I what we were discussing on Focus Ball and 503's channel was uh, what options uh, Deontay Wilder has moving forward as far as potential opponents. We were um, discussing that in conjunction with the fact that AJ or Anthony Joshua has uh, set out a uh, four-fight plan, which didn't include anybody who is like, really moving the scales. Um, of the opponents that AJ is potentially going to fight, the one that may move the meter most was Usyk, and I don't rate that as a good fight. But they also mentioned um, a potential fight with him and Emmanuel Char, a Dylan White rematch, a, rematch, um, a fight with uh, Kubrat Pulev, None of those fights uh, I would consider um, good fights, and I think most boxing fans wouldn't, or casual fans, because most casual fans don't know who Usek, Pulev, Manuel Char, and or um, Dillian White is. Out of all those, maybe the most reputable or name-worthy candidate would be Dillian White, and he's just looked like shit against um, a whack when he just fought him this past Saturday, who was ranked like 46th in the world. Of heavyweights, and I thought they were being generous with that 46 ranking. <laughs> Having said that, um, as it pertains to Wilder, we were trying to come up with lists uh, as to who Wilder could fight next. Um, it was a little bit more of a degree of difficulty because uh, Wilder, even though he's uh, a champion, long standing champion, 10 time defending, um, being probably one of the top three earners in all of boxing with the potential to. Um, increases earnings more and more as these fights progress, which these other two fighters uh, like Canelo or um, AJ can't say that their uh, earning potential could grow exponentially because of the uh, people that they want to fight. Um, having said that, though, with Wilder being a big top three earner, you have um, the, the a list of fighters that could fight him, um, and it's a little bit harder to pick people because there's not many people who are calling out Wilder, even though he's a big money maker. They'll try to downplay uh, Wilder, like, um, but um, not too many people are like down to face him. One of the only people that um, have been calling him out was Dillian White. And that was actually one of the suggestions that I, um, that we were, we all agreed upon, but I don't think that's the best suggestion. And I've been thinking this over for the past couple of days and I sort of mentioned it yesterday but as far as name recogn uh, uh, recognability, or, um, I think the best suggest or a good, a really good suggestion for Wilder to take on would be um, Andy Ruiz. Even though I'll uh, admit that Andy Ruiz did look like dog shit when he fought uh, Anthony Joshua in the rematch this time around. Um, one thing that could work out for Wilder as far as like um, fighting Andy Ruiz is uh, if he dispatches of Andy Ruiz um, in a fashion which uh, Anthony Joshua wasn't able to do, which would be by getting him out of there, which if Deontay Wilder did fight Andy Ruiz, that would be my prediction as to um, how that fight would turn out in Andy Ruiz being knocked out on the floor. Um, if Wilder does that, then he would have a, um, a claim to the fact that he was able to dispatch uh, Andy Ruiz in a fashion that was unlike Anthony Joshua. A lot of people thought, and I thought so um, to a degree, I mean, he did utilize a way to win the fight uh, in an easy fashion, I thought. But um, even um, Anthony Joshua fans were um, disparaging him in the aftermath of that fight, saying that he fought him like a, in a Klitschko style, that it was a boring fight, that he was running the whole night. I mean, um, if Wilder um, fights Andy Ruiz, and he secures that victory. I'm pretty sure that the fans uh, won't be able to utilize that excuse. 
Um, because I think Andy Ruiz will be leaving out of there um, after being woken up, you know, um, off the floor. But, um, and I think that provides uh, name recognition um, for Wilder too. I think it, it, it's, a, it's a way to make an immediate fight. Um, could also be, paper, uh, I think it'll, it's a good pay-per-view fight. Uh, Dillian White doesn't move the scales here in America. As much as like I want to see him um, destroy Dillian White or Dillian White, um, at the end of the day, he's a non-factor. Like when it comes to American fans, um, people don't know who Dylan White is. Out of all these people that could face um, Deontay Wilder outside of Tyson Fury, um, Andrew Ruiz probably has the most name recognition um, worldwide and domestically here in the U.S. Um, and I say, and the reason that we were coming up with these lists as far as like who Deontay Wilder's potential. Um, next um opponent could be is because uh i'm not 100 percent sold on the fact that fury's even going to try to fight wilder come february um i've seen videos of fury uh training like with it with uh tommy fury his younger brother and that's all well and good but um i think at the end of the day when it comes when uh when when it comes down to it i think uh, fury may find a way to um to try to get out of the fight that's my expectation so uh in the meantime like I mean um we like uh I think an Andy Ruiz uh matchup next would be a uh really g uh, hell of a replacement rather than like um Dylan White coming off of a uh struggling match with uh Morris Wack or whatever I forgot Wack's first name but uh yeah let me know what you guys think um I wanted to make a, I've made a video in a while. I'm doing it in my son's uh, robe. I just woke up myself too. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Make sure you check out my other people's um, Los Dawkins the Pimpins channel and Michael Johnson Boxing Talk and More, which I um, always freaking those channels as well. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.